What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are getting real off metal with it. We are rocking out with a physical attacking Palkia team that also features coaching my shell alongside with Zamazeta. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing take two seconds out of your day just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button but before we get started with today's team preview i want to give a huge shout out to the team creator joshua thank you so much for leaving this in my twitter dms if you guys want to leave me rental codes or series 13 teams hit me up on twitter either tweet at me or dm me over on twitter link is down in the description below change youtube over on that platform but uh with that out the way let's get started with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only azumarill joshua's been sending a lot of cool teams with azumarill and azumarill has been rocking out really well so cannot wait to use this pokemon yet again it has huge power as its ability and it's got that assault vest as item liquidation and play rough both for stab and then we got ice punch and bounce for our two coverage moves. so really good in a dynamax form it has two heavy hitting stab moves and then it has one that can actually uh, change the weather and one that can boost our team's speed so i'm with that all day i'm with this azumarill moveset all day Second Pokemon on squad is going to be Latios over here. And Latios right here is really good on the support side. It's got the Expert Belt, alongside with Levitate as its ability. It has Mystical Fire for special attack drops. It has Grass not to do bigger damage onto some uh, heavier Pokemon. Then it's got Ally Switch to protect Ally Pokemon, and then Tailwind for Speed Control. Really like this Latios. Probably going to be using them a good bit. Middle left is going to be My Shout over here, and My Shout is such a good lead. It's got Inner Focus, so it can't be intimidated or faked out. It also has the Focus Sash as an item, so it doesn't get taken out in one turn. It's got Fake Out itself, Brick Break to take out screens, Coaching to actually boost defense and physical attack of my Pokemon, who are basically all physical attacking. And then we have Wide Guard to protect the ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. Such as Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Palkia over here. And like I said, this is a physical attack in Palkia, so it's definitely going to be fun to use this Pokemon on the it's got Telepathy alongside with the Life Orb, and then it's got Liquidation, Dragon Call, EQ, and Protect. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Raichu. We just used Raichu in the last video, but that was paired up with Lugia, so this one is a bit different. It's got the Lightning Rod alongside with the Air Balloon, and then it's got Fake Out, Volt Switch, E-Web, and e -Web. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our last restricted Pokemon. It is Zamazetta over here with a Dauntless Shield and a Rusted Shield as its item and ability. Boosts its defense every time it hops into battle, and then its moveset is going to be Snarl for special attack drops, Iron Head, which turns into Behemoth Bash, and then we got Coaching for that, again, attack and defense boost, and then last but not least, we got Scary Face for a bit more speed control on the team. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this physical attacking Palkia team. Just to let you guys know, your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. So if you guys are looking to catch some extra content, head down to the link in the description below or just search the name right below the face cam and search Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button, turn on the notifications, and pop into the chat. Say what's up if I'm live. I would love to talk to you guys. I love hanging out with you guys. So seriously, if you guys are interested in more content, Jeans25 on Twitch. But let's hop into our first battle, going up against a Zacian and Kyogre team with Ditto, Ferrothorn, Mimikyu, but I feel like Mimikyu's kind of just there to pop Trick Room or to counter Trick Room. And last but not least, it has that friend guard clip there. So how should I go with this one? How should I play? I could actually lead the Latios. Latios isn't too bad because we can take some speed control. And plus, if he wants to lead the Ferrothorn, we do have that lovely little what is that? The Mystical Fire to kind of get after. Because I feel like that's the only Pokemon we can really get some work done onto that Ferrothorn. I mean, we could go Palkia and My Shell, which is too bad. We can leave with a Fake Out. We could go into Palkia, which I kind of like. Oh, uh, do I want to do that? That is not too bad. I kind of like the My Shell Palkia. Let's do that. My Shell Palkia has to lead. Bring in the back end Zamazetta. Zamazetta is pretty solid. And then, uh, do we do Zamazetta? Let me see. Come here. What's your moves again? Coaching, Iron Head, Snarl. Eh. I really want Zamazetta. I don't know. I definitely want Azumarill. We need more, more, more attack power. So I'm gonna go Azumarill, and then I'm leaning towards Zamazetta. Or I can even go Raichu because Raichu isn't bad. I have nine seconds left. I gotta check these moves. Hmm. I'm gonna go Zamazetta here, just because that's our other restricted mind. Let's throw him in there. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. You guys know the deal. Question of the day. You guys gotta answer before the battle even starts. What are you looking forward to the most for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? We got a lot of information released, a few trailers, all that good stuff. So what are you guys looking forward to the most? For me, I'm looking more forward to the open world aspect. So I'm hoping they do it right. I heard level scaling might not be a thing, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. I'm definitely excited for the open world aspect. He's going to go Kyogre alongside Mimikyu, and uh, I don't really mind that. I can fake out the Kyogre. I mean, Kyogre's probably going to Dynamax at this point, right? But Kyogre's got a Dynamax, right? I might just coach and get after him. I might coach and then just quake. I could wide guard. I could wide guard. I could definitely wide guard. I'm 
thinking about wide run, but I really want to coach here. I'm going to coach, and I am going through Dynamax, and I'm just going to drag him. Just so I get that attack drop onto that Mimikyu, I feel like they can... Well, he might Dynamax to Kyogre. We'll see how this one plays out. I was going to fake him out, but I'm not even going to go for the fake out. I'd just rather have this defense boost and this attack boost on top of that. I'm just kind of get rolling from there. And if he does Dynamax, we can always wide guard next turn, or we could even coach again. I'm going to Dynamax here, which leads me to think he's not Dynamaxing, because I think Kyogre might be a little faster than here. I think it really depends on how the EVs are set up. So we'll see what he does. We shall see what he does. But Dynamax and the Palkia, let's get after it. Let's get after it. I wonder what what's called going for Mimikyu. I wonder what Mimikyu's doing. Maybe pop in a trick room? Definitely an option. Kyogre Dynamaxing. I think it is, right? It is. So yeah, good thing we didn't go for the fake out. We're just gonna boost our defense. I think he might just go into like a I think he just might just go into a geyser into my my shadow, trigger the focus ash, and then just uh shadow sneak it next turn. He does have his options. He does have his options, but we'll see what he wants to do here. I wonder what he's doing with Mimikyu. Mimikyu's kind of like scaring me because I don't really know what he's going to do here. I'm going to coach turn one, which is gorgeous. We're going to get that attack boost alongside with that defense boost. And we are just going to drop a warm one because we do outspeed. So that's huge. I think he might be going for a trick room here. But we're going to get that attack drop. Oh, and that's some big time damage. That's some good damage on that Kyogre. That's some good damage on the Kyogre. We'll get that attack drop onto Mimikyu. That's nice. And Mimikyu might be popping a trick room. Mimikyu might be popping a trick room. Then go for the geyser. That's got to be good over on the My Shao. I don't really like that. I don't really like that. It's going to bring us down to Sash. No problem. And then, are you going for trick room, Mimikyu? What are you doing? What is Mims doing? Trick room, right? It is trick room. So this thing is going to set up the trick room. I don't really mind it. I mean, he has Ferrothorn in the back end. Maybe he's probably Zassian, right? And then from here, uh, what do we do? I could swap the My Shao into a Pokemon like Azumarill. You know Shadow Sneak's coming in after it right and this thing is pretty good on stats so i'm just gonna swap into a zoom rail save my my shell's fake out for later and then i'm just gonna go for the ko over onto the the kai over here right that does seem right it does seem like a solid turn that's what i'm gonna do he's got a shadow sneak right i'm gonna swap the my shell we're gonna go into a zoom rail without a soul fest too love a little soul fest i'm with it all day shadow sneak's gotta come out here right he's sneaking i'm gonna go for a giga drain i need Oh, it goes into Kyogre. Wow. Procs weakness policy. Wow, we didn't even need a swap. I mean, I'll take that swap. That ain't too bad. You can go for a lightning into Palkia. And Palkia should be able to soak that up, right? Cool. The Palkia soaks that up all day. We're going to be able to take out Kyogre here. That's not too bad because Azumarill and Trick Room is not shabby at all. Not bad at all. It is not bad at all. So the Wormwind's going to fly through here. We have Mimikyu sitting at minus two, which is good. And then we have a plus one defense boost on our Kyogre. Or not our Kyogre, on our Palkia. That's not too bad. And then if he has Trick Room when Zassian comes out here, pretty good for us. That is pretty good for us. Not bad, not bad. Not too bad. So I wonder who he's going to bring out here. I am rather curious. I'm rather curious. And Azumarill's real solid in Trick Room. I mean, Zassian was like his only other big Pokemon. But he's going to go into Ferrothorn here. Ferrothorn's a little scary. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Ferrothorn is definitely a little scary. And I might just want to go into like a play rough into him. Probably not. Actually, we're, we're not very effective on a few removes. But I kind of want to double down into him. Or I can just get rid of the Mimikyu's disguise. I'm going to go after Sparathorn. Do I go after Sparathorn? What do I do here? Hmm. What do I do here? I really want to get rid of the Mimikyu's disguise, but it's minus two. Like, what's it really going to do? What's it really going to do here? Let me just go after Sparathorn. After a fair throw here with this, and then probably just a, I just quake right. Quake's your best bet. So it'll do the most damage on the fair throw. Hopefully he doesn't protect it. He's gonna go baby doll eyes. Wow, this, did he realize we're physical attacking? I mean, he probably did after after we coach a little bit. So C bombs gonna come in here. You should be able to soak that up. Should be able to soak that up, Azumarill. Good work, Azumarill. Good work. Twice punch gonna fire, and that uh that baby doll eyes really hurt me. Dude. Give me the freeze. Iron barbs. Ah. Uh! We don't like Iron Barbs. Iron Barbs really hurting. Iron Barbs is really hurting. Quakes can come out here. We are minus one on attack. How much damage are we really gonna do? Not too bad, but Iron Barbs gonna poke out here again. Ah right, dang, dude. Special defense gets boosted. I mean, he can C bomb me and pretty much just play rough me. I mean, we outspeed him. We outspeed him. So I'm thinking if we pop in a nice like spatial wind or something, we can get off some big time. Hmm. Tough news, tough news. But yeah, let's get rid of this uh 
Let's get rid of this uh this guys if we can. Try to get rid of the Ferrothorn, right? I mean, I'm just gonna eat EQ across the board. EQ might be able to take out Ferrothorn. I'm not too sure. He's gonna seed bomb again, or he might just protect Ferrothorn. He seed bombs again. So we seed bombs here into Palkia. And oh Palkia drops out. With a crit. Ah! With a crit. With a crit, and then liquidation is gonna fly through here. So we're gonna take off this guy's here. I think Mimikyu takes me out, and I think we have like one more turn left in Shrek, which is kind of scary because he does have that uh he does have that Zassian in the back end. We do have Zamazetta, which isn't too bad. A Giga Jane's gonna fly through here, and that's gonna KO me. Actually, we eat. That's that's a good eat. That's a good time eat. That's a good time eat. So the skies is down, the skies is busted. Uh what should we go into from here? We go into Zamazetta, but it's just like eh. I could save my my shell for this ass here. Would probably be like a better option here. Could definitely be a solid option. I'm gonna go into Zassian here. I wish I did have protect on the zoom now. I really do. I really do wish I had protect on the zoom now. But I'm just gonna ice punch across on here. And I'm just gonna behemoth bash right here. I mean, he's probably gonna baby die. Which kind of hurts. This, dude, this battle's coming out of the wire. He has his ass in the back, and we know it. Ferrothorn's gonna get the swap. We're gonna ice punch. Oh, it's gonna be called Fairy. It's gonna be called Fairy, which actually works better in our favor. Actually, works a lot better. I thought it was Zassy and Trickham was ending. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Okay, that that, that actually makes me feel a lot. Better. That makes me feel a lot better. He swaps the Ferrothorn, and he does not have Zassian. Because Zassian was scaring me. I was just like, dude, how are we gonna take out this Zassian? But this works 10 times better. Now I cannot wait for Trickham to end. It'll take a little bit of speed. Behemoth Bash should come through here. Probably not gonna pick up the KO. Actually, it should. Maybe he use a little lightweight. It's a little light, lightweight. Yeah, get him out of here. Good work. Good work, Samazetta. I love how that move, like, the smoke on the screen covered its, uh, oh, we got a crit. We got a crit. I love how the smoke covered the Mimikyu's HP bar, so when the smoke disappeared, it, you just saw Mimikyu dead and his HP bar down. But yeah, this is the match. goes back to normal. Uh, we are going to bring out my one HP, my shall. So we have a uh, fake out ready to roll. And what do I do? Do I double down to Ferrothorn? I mean, he could go for follow me. He could definitely go for follow me. At this point, I kind of just want to, I just want to hit this thing with a brick break. Or I could coach this thing. It's not a bad coach. That is not a bad coach. If we coach up onto that, Earth one's kind of annoying though. I, mean, I kind of just want to do this: brick break into you, and then just Behemoth Bash across onto you. That's probably your best play. Cause if what's called if what's called setting up a if Ferrothorn's setting up like seeds and stuff, I can't I can't really deal with it. So I have to I have to try to get rid of him with my shell. But Behemoth Bash flies through here, big time damage, brings it down to red, and my shell should go next and finish off this Ferrothorn, right? Brick break coming in hot, finish him off. Let's go, my shell. So the one one HP my shell swap really won us the game there because I really do think if we not did not have my shell, he could set up bleach seeds and pretty much just one v one for our zombies had it easily. He goes for a heal pulse. Oh, and he was trying to heal it up. So beautiful, beautiful turn by us. Beautiful, beautiful turn by us. And that's going to be GG's. What a first battle. We start off with the victory. And I'm, I'm actually really lucky he did, he did not bring in that Zassian. Because again, Zassian definitely would have been a problem. He canceled the battle. Wanted to know to get us started. It's time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. We are rolling up against a very strong meta team. Like, look at this Sun team right here. He's got Groudon, Incineroar, Charizard, Venusaur, and Grimmsnarl. And then he's rocking out with Lunal. Usually a team like this rocks out with Zacian, but this one has Lunal just, I think it's there for Trick Room purposes. And Lunal is just good all around. It really is a solid Pokemon. It's really bulky. It really is bulky. But uh, how should we play this one? I mean, I have no Pokemon in Pop Trick Room. I could go into uh, Raichu. Raichu, come here. I mean, Raichu's kind of just here for Lightning Rod, in my opinion. But it doesn't have like Nuzzle or anything. I mean, it has E-Web. E-Web is really solid for speed control. So I could go into that. And if he's going into Special Attackers, I can also Eerie Impulse. So I kind of dig the Raichu lead. If we go Raichu, we could go in with my shell as well. Or I could set up Tailwind. I could definitely set up Tailwind with Latios with the Levitate. I kind of dig that. Tailwind could be good for us. Tailwind definitely could be good for us. And then we do have Ally Switch. Do I want to go into like you and Zoom Realm? Maybe get started with that. Not too bad. And then bring Palkia. I'm Zen in the back. I mean, speed's going to be really good for us. I could go to these two. Then bring Palkia for our big attacker with us. And just leave Zamazetta out of here. Because Zamazetta gets kind of ripped on by a lot of these Pokemon. I'm kind of with this. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves some speed here in the first turn. We get rolling from there. But if he does lead Lunala, I don't know if I want to go into Tailwind. 
We might predict it and kind of just go from there. But we'll just see who it, how, it, how he leads this one. And if he has ground on him, obviously we have Levitate. That can work really well. We do a fake out ready to roll. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I love the My Shell. I think My Shell is just such a solid lead. He goes to Lunala and Venusaur. Okay, so Lunala and Venusaur is going to come out here. Eh, kind of hurts the soul. I think I'm just going to drop a Mystical Fire into the... Uh, into the what's it called? Into here. And what do I do? Do I go for a fake out here? I don't know if he's going Dynamax or not. I really just want a Mystical Fire. We'll go for the fake out just in case. He's going to swap into Groudon, right? Yep, they're swapping the Groudon. We should pop tail one. Do not Dynamax. Do not that. Oh, it goes into Incineroar. Probably not going to Dynamax. He probably thinks maybe... I don't know. We kind of have some decent speed here. I have Inner Focus with my Shadow works Wonders. And do not Dynamax Venusaur. It's going to end up Dynamaxing. Okay, so Venusaur gets the Dynamax. Um, probably going for a G-Max Vine Lash to take on my Shell. That's fine. That's cool. That's all right. That's all right. And then I could pop a Tailwind next turn if I want to, but he's, gonna sh he's just going to fake me. He is just going to fake me. It's kind of scary. We do not like this, these Sun teams. They're super strong. They're a little bit too strong. The fake guys can come out here. Bob, chip up some damage. Can Latios outspeed? I think it does. Yeah, Mystical Fire's in the rear. Chip up some nice damage, and more importantly, get that special attack drop. Over. That's a big time special attack drop. He's still probably going to be able to take out my Mash out here because he's weakness policy. What? What is going on here? <laughs> weakness policy on the Venusaur. Doing me dirty. Vine Lash coming in here. We're going to say bye bye to my shell. Let's go on after Latios. Nope, my shell. Like I said, dead all day. Weakness policy. That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Okay, I can try this. Set up a tailwind, but I don't know what it what if we should do. That hurts, man. That really does hurt. That hurts. But now I have to be forced to go on the Palkia. I mean I could go into his well, but I can't guard with his That's a problem. That is a problem. I'm gonna go into you and I'm going to quake into the Incineroar slot. Probably my best bet, right? Probably my best bet. It's just quick into the instant or slot and try to pop it down. That's my best bet. Ah, dang your weakness policy. Really? Really on the Venusaur? At least let it be like Life Orb or something. I didn't mind if we died. But now this thing's plus one on special attack, which kind of hurts, man. Venusaur is an absolute menace. Absolute menace. So having this thing weakness policy just makes him even a bigger threat. I saw that proc. I was like, no shot. No shot. This thing's weakness policy. Then a the little text popped up. Weakness policy has been activated. I'm like, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> so let's see what he does here. I mean, I'm hoping he's faking out my Palkia, but he's got to predict that I'm Dynamaxing, right? It's got to be a Dynamax. Got to predict that we're Dynamaxing. Good thing that we are rocking it. What's it called? A physical or, or good thing that Intimidate came out before our Palkia came out. Because we are physical attacking. We might party shot into Palkia. He has a lot of different options to kind of roll out with. I hope he's not faking out the Latios. He is faking out the Latios. Son of a biscuit. Can you survive this turn? Can you not go down here? Latios. Palkia's going to be able to outspeed. And of course, this thing's Shukabari. His items are just countering me right now. But we do grant ourselves a nice little special defense boost. I, I am with that. We are going to chip up some nice damage here. Not bad. Half damage. Uh, I'm trying to think who he, who he can swap into. Who can eat up a max quick. Let's see what he does. Do not go after my Latios. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a Vine Lash. Go into Palkia. He's gonna go into Palkia. And Palkia soaks up rather well. So I can easily set up a Tailwind next turn. So that's good. I could Ally switch if I want to. But I'm gonna Tailwind and I might go after. Do I go after Incineroar? Who would I go after? Because who could he swap into? Let me see your team. You could swap in the Charizard or even Lunala. Yeah, Tailwind's gotta come out here. We gotta take a little bit of speed. And I might just set some weather. But he has to have weather in the back end, right? I think Wormwind finishes this thing off. I kind of want to go into a geyser just in case he wants to swap into, uh, just in case he wants to swap into what's it called Kyogre or Groudon at this point. Kind of with this. I'm kind of with this. He's gonna withdraw on Sinor. Go into the Groudon. Just go into the Groudon. So that's, that isn't too bad. That's too bad. So we're gonna be able to change up weather, and I'm hoping we get off this tailwind and be able to eat up a shot. I'm hoping everybody can just eat up a shot because Venus was gonna go next. He's gonna go for a quake into my Palkia. Palkia should be able to soak this up. It's real solid. And he thinks we're special attacking, which is huge. 
He thinks our Palkia is special attack, and that's huge. And we did predict the ground on coming out here. So we're changing up weather, which is really good. And we get off Tailwind. We get off Tailwind. That ain't a bad turn for us. That is not a bad turn for us. Not bad at all. So guys are going to come out here. We know his whole team. We still have a Zoom Relch on the back. So that's going to do some big damage. We chip up onto the ground on. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Give me that weather. Give me that weather. And when it cancels. What a way to win this battle. I'm pretty sure he canceled, right? That, that can't be my connection. I guess I'll let you guys know. So, guys, our last opponent in battle number two either ended up quitting or disconnecting. I don't really know the option there or which one he did, considering that match was going to be rather close. We started taking the upper hand in that, like, exactly when the connection gave out, considering we had Tailwind, we had one more turn in Dynamax, and we're starting to thrive out from there. So I definitely think we had a huge shot at winning that battle. But we'll take that victory all day. We'll consider it a victory because he lost connection, not me. We're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for that perfect record, and I think this is like a redemption match. Going up against another Sun team with Groudon, Zacian, no Venus for this time, but he has Charizard, Grimmsnarl, and Storm Drain, Gashamon. So uh, I think we have to watch out for Storm Drain. It's definitely a problem. It's definitely a problem. He could lead Incineroar. I mean, I'm going to go inner focus my shout for the lead. But I'm start with maybe a Pokemon like Latios. Just take some Speed Control. I feel like we need it. I think Speed Control could be really good. Then we bring Palkia and we go with Zoom. So same squad, just different order this time around. I am digging it. I really do like it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. The one thing that we have to watch out for is going to be that Gastron. That Gastron could be a huge pain for us. It really can be. But hopefully we can counter it up and we can get rid of it in battle number three here. But yeah, solid first two battles. They're going the distance. They are going the distance. First battle, we cleanly won by ourselves. Second battle, came really close. Like, like I said, it could have went either way. If that guy would have kept playing or I don't even, again, I don't know if his connection gave out or anything. It definitely would have been close, so I kind of wish he didn't, he didn't uh, get out of there. But uh, he's going to go Incineroar alongside with Zacian. Um, we have Expert Belt. I'm going to fake out the... Uh, he's going to fake out me, isn't he? I'm going to fake out him. He's going to Intimidate. I'm going to fake out his Incineroar. I'm going to... I got to get off this Tailwind. This Tailwind could be big time news for us. It could be really good for us. So yeah, I'm going to fake out the Incineroar. And then I'm just going to roll for this, uh, this Tailwind here. Maybe he's asking protects. He does protect. That's big time turns. That is big time turns. So we get off the fake out because I know my shout out speeds Incineroar. And we get off a free Tailwind. So Tailwind is coming in hot. Tailwind coming in hot. We like that turn. Okay, so that's a solid little turn there. I could Alice switch here, but play off this both my Pokemon dirty. Oh, he does. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Brick Break. And I'm just gonna go to a Mystical Fire. Just start chipping up damage on this Alice. Probably my best bet. Probably my best bet. So again, I saw a Brick Break onto uh, Incineroar. I wish I did have close combat because I could dump on Incineroar at this point. But Brick Break's really nice. It really is strong because of because it takes off screens. The screens are such a pain to deal with. The Mystical Fire is going to pop out here. Probably not do too much damage, but actually did a lot more than I thought. So that's actually solid damage. Is that half? Is that more than half? I don't know if we can KO with another one. Brick Break's going to fly, and that's, that's a nice chunk of damage. Probably going to pop Barry, right? Yeah. Here goes Barry. Citrus Barry coming out here. Or it might be even a Figgy. Let's see. What are you rocking? Citrus. He's going to go for a player off, and yo, my Pokemon rock. They're dodging these player offs, and Third Chop's going to fly here. So, Latios actually soaks up. It's big time news, and I can just do that same turn, right? Brick Break into a lovely little Mystical Fire, and I feel like if, if uh, we get that same roll, that's like perfectly half. Look at Zacian's HP. I don't know if we're going to KO with another Mystical Fire. Maybe if we get a high roll, he's going to protect Zacian. That's fine. Your Incineroar's dead, and you just wasted a turn. I think he's just wasting Tailwind at this point. I think he's just wasting Tailwind at this point. So Brick Break's going to fly here. Oh, my shout, dude. I love my shout. I love this Pokemon. It's so strong. It really is. That inner focus, and then it can learn fake out. And it does look close combat. So, like, I could have dumped on that incident or turn it, like, in one turn if I had close combat. Now he's going to go into Gash on. And I do have Grass Knot. I do have Grass Knot for this. I could Grass Knot him. Which I kind of want to do. It's four times super effective. I'd rather get off some damage on him. So, you know, I'm going to Brick Break, and I'm going to deal with that, uh... I'm going to deal with that Zassy next turn. He withdraws Zacian anyway. We look like a champ with this turn, then. He's gonna go on the ground. We look like a champ. You gonna Dynamax Gastro? I kind of hope he doesn't. Just have the Drought. Drought is out and about. We look like a champ with this turn. And he's not gonna Dynamax. Grass Knot's gonna fly here. Four times super effective. Grass Knot, baby. Yo, it's ripping. <laughs> Grass Knot is ripping. Yo, this lead is tearing it up. This lead is tearing it up. He's gonna go for an Earth Power. Right into my My Shell. My Shell soaks. That's good turns. That's lovely turns. Um. He's got Dynamax Groudon, right? 
get out of Dynamax Echo. Tailwind's gone. We're going to try to set up another one. We should outspeed both of them. So we should be able to get off another Tailwind here. And at this point, he's got to protect the Gashon. I'm still going to go for a Brick Break into him. I'm just going to Tailwind. I'm still going to do that. Set up this Tailwind just for a back and forth. But yo, we are ripping with this lead. This lead, we're just using the same moves. We set up the Tailwind. We're going Brick Break, Mystical Fire, Brick Break, Grass Nods. Loving it. I'm loving it, dude. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to use Grass Knot too much in today's video, but Grass Knot definitely coming up clutch because Grass Knot is definitely a problem. We have Azumarill and Palkia in the back end. If I can get rid of this lovely little Grass Knot, we could be thriving here. But yeah, uh, Latios should be able to outspeed both. So Tailwind should come back out for a squad, which is huge. Which is huge. He ends up Dynamaxing the ground on. I'm fine with that all day. It's no big deal for me. And is he going to protect Gastro? Probably, right? Yeah. I don't saw that coming, but I was just like, you know, we, we might as well take the shot on that because my shot isn't going to be too much. So, grab on. So, Tailwind comes out here. I wonder who he's going to take out. Take out my Latios. Break's going to get blocked. Who are you taking out here? I don't want him to take out my Latios because then I could just coach. Nope, he takes out my my shot with Max Quake. And we're going to bring out our uh, Palkia or do we Dynamax Azumarill? I think Azumarill would be a tad bit better. Dude, we're thriving here. He's going to swap the gas shot. I know that for a fact. Definitely gonna swap the gas on. I'm gonna change up the line. My boy Azumarill. I'm gonna bring out Azumarill. Azumarill's just coming to play here. Wait, do we go Zoom? I do like Azumarill here. I could set, I could set, uh, I could set Rain. Where do I go, Palkia? Palkia is tight, nice too, but I feel like we have huge power and we're in the tailwind. Azumarill can really rock it. I'm going to Azumarill here. Because either he lands his double protect or he swaps. But I'm still going to go for the water move. I feel like it's just our best bet. Or I can just go into ice move and play it safe. And now we're going to go water here. I'm just going to grass knot. No way he lands double protect. He, he, he doesn't have the moxie to even go for double protect. I don't even think he has the moxie to go for the double protect. And even if he does, it's not landing. It's not landing because I'm sprinkling on some little no, no double protect magic on the game right now. I just sprinkled it on. So we're gonna end up Dynamaxing our lovely little Azumarill. I love this Pokemon so much. Like I like I said, the creator of the team sent me like three teams with Azumarill and we've been rocking. Azumarill's just super strong. It really is, especially the shiny Azumarill. Look at that, the gold! The gold! It looks so sick. So sick. I would love to make an, uh, an Easter egg without the ears or the hands for Azumarill. It would just be so sick. But Grass Hat's gonna come out here. Exactly what we want it. Beautiful. We get rid of the Gastron and now Storm Drain is out of effect. Azumarill should go next. We're gonna change up the weather. We're gonna get rolling from there. Give me the weather. But yeah, what, wouldn't an Easter egg with just Azumarill? Azumarill's body be so sick. No ears, no arms, no legs, no tail. Just, just that round egg-shaped body of his. <laughs> I think I think I think that I'm gonna try to create an egg next Easter for it. Gonna end up quaking. That's totally fine. We're physical attacking. We're gonna be able to soak that up all day. Azumarill says, "Yeah, that's tasty snack." And uh, we're pretty much sitting in a solid spot here. Sitting in a lovely, a lovely little spot. I'm trying to think of what we should do here. I think we're just gonna Alex, but she's gonna bring out Zacian. And do I go after Zacian? And one of them is definitely protecting. One of them is definitely protected, but we should have two more turns off the Tailwind. It's huge. That's lovely. I'm gonna go here. Now I'm just gonna ally switch. One of them's gonna protect him, and then the other one's probably gonna try to go after my Azumarill. And we haven't shown off ally switch yet, so we're just gonna swap, oh, swap it. We're gonna hit it. And Palky to back in. One more turn left in Tailwind after this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I don't think any protect team out, unless the ally switch comes out after protect. We do that, we swap. He's going to go for the Behemoth Blade, and the ally switch was perfect. The ally switch was perfect. It was money. Good work, Latios. The most money, and it would have been a crit. That would have taken out my Azumarill, no problem. Even without a crit, I think we would have died that. But ally switch comes in clutch. We dodge that move. Azumarill gets off a big-time Max Geyser. We take out Zacian, and it turns into a 2v1 situation up against a Groudon. Oh, yeah, we get a crit, too, but we were taking out Ogrodos. But it turns to a 2v1 situation up against a Groudon in the rain up against 2 water. It's looking good. He drops a Phantasm. Azumarill says, yo, that's the tastiest snack you've ever had. And that's GG's. That is GG's. I am the best. 
we just grabbed ourselves a perfect record kind of because the second battle was kind of weird and we don't know if our opponent canceled or not <laughs> that's my song it's called perfect record but we don't know if our opponent canceled or not thank you thank you very much for the applause but yeah it's gg's it's over with it's over with palkia's just gonna rip into a liquidation here and he's just gonna cancel battle right and we'll just drop a nice little geyser but what a play by us dropping that ally switch and he's gonna end up staying in here and palkia's just gonna have to show him that he's physical attacking drop a big time liquidation See you later. See you later in the rain. There it is, guys. 3-0. Absolute domination with this off-meta squad. I don't know what it is about off-meta squads, but I always seem to play a bit better with off-meta squads. I'm always getting winning records, going 3-0, grabbing perfect records, and just dominating battles, just like we did in today's video. The Zoom Rail was amazing. Got to showcase that one in battle number three. Palkia was obviously super, super good with the coaching and the My Shao. I love that My Shao so much. It coached up to Palkia, was able to use Fake Out. It did some work at the end with Latios, and everybody on the scene just thrived out perfectly. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.